Hello, hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I will be discussing on the basic correspondence with uh, respect to the orders and reply letters. Kindly watch the video till the end, like it, share and subscribe the channel. If you have any comments about the video, please put your comments in the comment box. Now, let's move to the presentation. Always a business is developed with the help of the correspondence. A business unit is required to write many letters to the other organization and at the same time it has to reply to many inquiries or the letters which are written by the other organization also. So it is in the words of Hume and Ballet, the correspondence incidental to a trading transaction may be considerably simplified by trading the transaction stage by stage from the original inquiry for terms and prices to the final settlement. In relation to the business, basic correspondence involves a drafting of messages, letters of inquiry, quotations, complaints that is claims, adjustment, sales letters, good news as well as bad news etc. Here, Every organization is a dependent on the correspondence for the developments of the business. Such correspondence may be, it may be a routine one, every day in a, in a, in a day to day life a business is required to uh, respond to many queries made by, uh, queries uh, made by the, its customers and it also say go for uh, in, a, in a special cases where, where also it is required to write the special messages to convince the people, especially in case of the complaints or in case of the uh, sales letters, etc. So such business correspondence may be of number of types. So we have got a, uh, like a inquiry and replies or quotation letters, orders and execution letters, complaints and adjustment letters, good news and bad news letters. So in the subsequent slides, in the subsequent and in the subsequent videos, we'll be discussing on these and how to write all these inquiry letters, quotation letters uh, and the other remaining types of the letters. So let us restrict our discussion only to the, uh, in this video on uh, inquiry and quotation letters. Here inquiry. Inquiry is considered as the first stage in the development of the relationship. Every organization is required to react to the requests made by its customers. And such an inquiry is nothing but just asking about the prices of the goods and services, the availability of the goods and services, then it may be like the variety of the goods and services. And when there is a proper reply for this inquiry, if the customer, if the prospective customer is satisfied the terms and conditions of the seller, then he goes for uh, placing an order. And when the order is executed, the uh, again the business unit is going to reply in the form of a execution letter. So how the goods are packed and when they are going to be discharged, uh, uh, and the customer when he can expect the delivery of the goods. So all these things can be understood. Similarly, and such always a trading generally begins with an inquiry about the terms and conditions for final settlement because many suppliers adopt their different policies of doing business. Nowadays, a business themselves provide readily the detailed trade terms and conditions to a good number of aspirants asking them to place a trial order to prove the claims made. A business concern has to plan its purchases, hence it needs a complete information regarding the type, quality, variety, price, delivery, time, etc. of the goods to be bought. In addition, it also needs the information relating the terms and conditions of sales. Such inquiries may be of uh, three types, solicited inquiry, unsolicited inquiry and uh, routine inquiry. So now let us look into these things here. A solicited inquiry is an inquiry which is made in response to the seller's advertisement and publicity. Assume that uh, you might have seen an advertisement in a leading newspaper 
and in response to that uh, newspaper advertisement you are going to write a letter uh, and enquiring the prices of the a particular product so such an inquiry is called as a solicited inquiry for example assume that you might have seen an advertisement of uh, a water purifier in the newspaper and in response to that you are going to ask about the price the functioning of the such a water purifier such an inquiry is called as a solicited inquiry whereas an unsolicited inquiry is one which is made at the buyer's own initiative here the buyer he takes interest himself and goes for making an inquiry about the prices or the quality of the product etc here so such an inquiry is what is called as a unsolicited inquiry here in case of the unsolicited inquiry the buyer's interest or the his own interest is most important rather than looking into the other factors here then the routine inquiry an inquiry made by an old buyer in the usual course of the business such an inquiry is called as a routine inquiry here there will be an established relationship between the buyer and the seller already they are known to each other since so many years so uh, when an inquiry is made in the usual course of the business here such an inquiry is what is called as a routine inquiry and such an inquiry letter should be very straight forward compact and courteous it should be positive and confident in tone it should be very brief and to the point very clear complete and correct in case of writing of an in, uh, inquiry letter the uh, the buyer the inquirer should uh, should have a direct approach rather than indirect approach so what the inquiry letter should contain then then inquiry letter should contain uh, certain things like uh, the inquirer should mention the kind and the quality of the goods available with the seller a yes, seller may be dealing in variety of the goods in varied uh, qualities of the goods so which type of the quality or the which type of the good is required that must be clearly written by the inquirer here assume that a dealer is dealing in television sets the television sets they are available in a different inches like a 42 inch tv or maybe like a 32 inch or maybe like 56 something like that so the inquirer should make a uh, correct um, he should make an inquiry about which type uh, uh, what is the size of the particular good that he needs to mention then uh, the inquirer should refer to the reason to motivate to inquire him in other words to, to say here what has made the inquirer to ask about the product whether is it the advertisement or is it the friend's opinion or is it his own interest so that must be clearly written in case of a, such an inquiry letter here then uh, the inquirer should state the approximate the quantity or the size of the goods say assume that if the inquiry is made of the rice product uh, i mean to say the rice so he should mention the brand whether is it appu brand rice or is it uh, uh, say basmati rice so he should clearly refer to the Uh, the type of the goods and how much kg he want whether he wants a uh, uh, 25 kg 50 kg bag or 10 kg uh, or 10 kg bag like this here then he should state the special form of packing if any suppose say for example normally uh, or in the usual course of the business the seller follows the normal packing policy in case if the buyer uh, needs special packing in such case he should clearly mention in his letter with respect to the special packing to be made for the product then the inquiry should be about the expected time of delivery and terms of payment suppose if the uh, if the inquirer is uh, satisfied with the terms and conditions of the sale of the buyer then he must ask about what is the expected time of delivery of the goods if the order is placed and what is the terms of payment whether only cash payment is accepted or whether is it the uh, say the bank transfer is accepted or whether is it the check dd so like that then the inquirer should ask for a 
competitive quotations. It should not be low. We should not use the word low because the low indicates sometimes the cheap. So here it must be a reasonable one. It must be competitive one here so that uh, the quoted prices may be accepted by the buyer and he may think of uh, placing an idea. Then similarly, if possible, if in case of the FMCG product, he must ask for a sample. Say for example, it may be like uh, the soap or the like detergent, etc. Here, then he should uh, ask about the other policies. Say, say for example, if the buyer wants to purchase the goods on credit basis, so what are the policies with respect to the uh, availing the credit? Then uh, he should assure uh, that he should assure an idea of future orders. So say for here, in other to, to say the enquirer must assure the seller that uh, if the terms and conditions are favorable to him, then he will place uh, his uh, trial order or the first order with him. Then now let us look into some opening sentences of the uh, enquiry letters here. Uh, it, uh, it can be started with uh, we would be grateful to get uh, of your prices of the goods. Always you should not be used I. I should not be used in case of writing the letters. Then uh, it can be started like a business friend has given us your name as a reliable firm to supply. Then uh, we would welcome information about your range of products. We would appreciate details of uh, so and so type of products. You should mention the type of the product there. Then we are uh, interested in filling our stocks of uh, so and so manufactured by you. So could you kindly dash like this here. Then some closing sentences uh, should be like this. We would really appreciate an early response from you. Should your terms be favorable, we would be pleased to send our uh, uh, place our first order immediately. Since our stocks are totally exhausted, kindly treat this inquiry as an urgent. This can be used in the routine inquiry. Uh, since we plan to give you regular business, we are uh, sure we will quote your uh, most uh, favorable terms. So like this it can be started here. Then now let us look into the reply part here. Uh, here enquiry it is just like a question whereas a reply is an answer to the question here. So in case of the reply, let, uh, in case of the replies here, a prompt reply indicates that the seller has got the business etiquettes. So here uh, it, it means that we say assume that when an inquiry is made and within a two three days or maximum one week within one week uh, if the reply is written it indicates that the seller has got uh, business etiquettes. That means he has the interest to enhance his business. It, uh, he is interested to increase his uh, share uh, market share in the market here. Such replies should contain the prices, quotations and other terms of the sale here. And uh, such reply must be written very clearly, correctly and accurately. It should convey all the information about the product. Say for example, if your dealer is dealing in a 10 variety of the brands, he should provide the 10 variety of the brands. He should uh, narrate the things about the positive pros and cons of all those 10 brands. Then uh, he must advocate on a selling points uh, in the reply in, uh, to the first replies here. Uh, that means here the reply reply letter should highlight what are the advantages of the products or uh, I mean to say uh, it must uh, highlight with respect to the the usefulness of the product if the if it is bought by the such customer here. So here they must be drafted in a such a way that the inquiry may soon turn into a rewarding order. In other words to say uh, the, it must contain selling points such as selling points will also have to be included in the letter written to promote the sales of the products already being marketed or to introduce a new product. Then here are the offers and quotations. An offer is a general and a voluntary. Uh, it is like a sales letter sent to all the prospective customers including the existing customers also. Whereas a quotation is a specific offer for sale. It is made in response to an inquiry from a particular person or a business house. A tender is written or a formal offer to supply the goods or to do a job for an agreed price.
companies have often to invite tenders to fill in their requirements to get certain uh, uh, requirements or get certain jobs done at competitive rates and these tenders are always submitted in sealed covers by specified time and are accompanied with uh, earnest money to uh, deter unscrupulous people who might make an offer only to spoil other chances so usually whenever the work involves a huge investment in such case the tenders uh, will be invited and uh, such tenders will be selected which have quoted the lowest prices here so based on that uh, uh, the government departments they do the works uh, for the different cases here now let us look into the certain uh, hints for uh, drafting the replies here a reply should refer to the date or the number of the letter so that it will be it, it is helpful for the inquirer uh, to refer back to his letter then the replier has to thank the party for uh, for the letter written by the inquirer and he should appreciate uh, the interest of the inquirer about the products and the services here if possible add relevant information in the form of a short description of goods prices advantages favorable terms etc here already these are mentioned in the replies uh, in the uh, replies letter and you, if any additional information is to be shared that must be shared here such reply letter should state the terms clearly and concisely and it should also mention the time required to execute the order and the place and mode of the delivery uh, then the terms of the payment discount like a trade or cash discount etc packing method so all in other should to say the entire policy of the firm must be written in the reply letter a reply letter should also state the time for which the offer is op open if the time is an important factor sometimes say for example in order uh, whenever there is a clearance sale it must mention uh, the a uh, date within uh, which the uh, within which uh, the sale will be completed then you should also state whether the price uh, the price list uh, the catalog samples etc uh, which will be enclosed with the reply letter then you should use uh, some sales talk to stimulate the interest of the buyer in other to say a reply letter should motivate the inquirer to purchase the products you should uh, show your willingness to serve or help the customer in the form of uh, additional information etc a letter should depict the interest to serve the person so that uh, the inquirer will be more happy to deal with uh, such a uh, seller here now let's look into certain terms and conditions which are uh, usually used in the offers and quotation letters x warehouse price prices of the goods at the warehouse of the seller say for example if a customer is purchasing the products from or the goods from the uh, pune so the seller will in, uh, will incur only those expenses till the goods reach the the expenses from the seller's warehouse to the railway station of pune at station price the price of the goods includes the cost of the goods and the charges of transporting them to the station name say for example if a customer has placed the order from belgaum so till the goods reach from pune to belgaum that will be borne by the seller loco price it represents the price of the goods at the seller's warehouse or the factory it may or may not include the cost of packing then the free on rail or free on board uh, the charges of loading the goods into wagons or ship or vehicles are to be paid by the seller and are included in the quotation then uh, carry forward here the transactions are uh, the transaction charges are to be borne by the sorry it is borne the merchant has borne borne it is borne by the buyer here say for example if the goods are purchased from pune till the goods reach belgaum so the buyer has to incur from the place of the factory of the seller to the till the goods reach to the buyer's destination then a cod cash on delivery so here payment must be made when the goods are delivered to the buyer here then 3% to 7 days the, uh, this is the cash discount of 3% will be allowed on the price quoted if the payment is made within 7 days of the invoice this is only to the motivate the buyer to make an early payment then the prompt cash the payment must be made within 2 or 3 days of the arrival of the goods 
E and OE errors and omissions are accepted. The seller has the right of making corrections of errors or omissions if any in the invoice. Suppose if there is any wrong in preparation of the invoice or if something has been omitted, so which can be included here. So such right is reserved with the uh, seller here. 